Question 19a. Work out the value of the square root of 2 to the power of 4. Because we're dealing with indices here, it's a good idea to replace the square root with its index value. Instead of a square root, what we can do is say that that would be 2 to the power of a half. As a fractional index gives us a root. So in this situation, we've now got 2 to the power of a half multiplied well, with the index of 4. If you have two indices that go across a bracket, we can multiply those two values together, which would give us a simplified version of the question to 2 squared, because a half of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So our answer to this problem is just 4. Question 19b. Expand and simplify the square root of 2, add 3, all squared. To make sure I don't miss out anything, I'm going to use a grid to ensure that I multiply everything in the bracket by itself. You may know other methods. You may prefer to write out both brackets and use arrows to indicate what you're multiplying. But I find that a grid always makes sure that you're not missing anything. So we're going to be multiplying the square root of 2 and 3 by the square root of 2 and 3. By adding together everything inside this grid, we will end up with our expanded brackets, and then we can try and simplify it. The square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of 2, well, is the same as the square root of 2 squared, or 2. The square root of 2 times 3, much like in algebra, can only be simplified to 3 square root 2. So the same thing happens here, another 3 root 2. 3 times 3 is 9. So that's our expanded expression. We have 2, add 3 root 2, add 3 root 2, add 9. To simplify this, we gather everything that's the same. So our two whole numbers can be added together. 2 add 9 is 11. And 3 root 2 add 3 root 2 would give us 6 root 2.